to every prime minister, to every president, to every king in this world, and more so to every church leader. The Lord Jesus has already come back on his way to cleanse his house and the world with it. The Lord Jesus has already come back to cleanse his house and the world with it. If you do not repent, I cannot promise you that you're going to have enough time to come back later on and ask for forgiveness because you may not have that chance. If you have hurt people, you'll need to answer for it. For every family you destroyed as a prime minister, as a president, as a king, as a traitor, and as Judas Iscariot as a church leader, for every family you've destroyed, for every evil thing you have supported, you will answer for it. So I'm begging you, every Christian, church leaders and Christian faithfuls, and the whole world, repent, repent, for there is God in heaven, the creator of everyone and everything that is visible and invisible. And this God is definitely not Buddha, not Muhammad, not Krishna, not no one. It is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. This is God. This is the truth. I'm not being neither selfish nor judgmental. Nothing. I'm just quoting the truth. And I'm putting my life on the line for this truth. I'll never blink twice. For he is who he is, God revealed in the flesh, the creator of everyone and everything, heaven and earth and everything that is in it. Jesus is the only one. Repent. For what has been happening in the last two years, nothing but corruption, nothing but lies and deception. Absolute deception and lies. But let it be a lesson for all of us because we are living at the time of denial of Christ, Laodicea. We only get what we deserve. And the Lord is fair with everyone. The church denied him. This is what the church is going to get. The day we repent and come back to the Lord and stop dancing in the bosom of satan the lord will have mercy on us and he will stop every evil agenda he will stop it but i'm begging every out of love i'm not afraid of no one but out of love i'm asking and i'm begging every leader religious and political leader don't ever kill your conscience don't ever be lukewarm because the day you kill your conscience, the day you've killed yourself. I'm calling you in the name of humanity if you're not Christians. But if you are a Christian leader, I'm calling you in the name of Jesus Christ, the one and only. Have Christian morals, ethics in your heart. And if you are a non-Christian, then have a living conscience and act in a humane way. Respect humanity. They are not your slaves. Because if you think you can enslave people, then you are a slave to your own fantasies. Church leaders do not deny Jesus anymore. It is not a joke and there is no time. The Lord has come back. I'm just giving you the message. I'm nothing. It is your repentance and acknowledging and confessing that you are a sinner before your Jesus. That's what's going to save you.